All right, the situation I'm dealing with here today. I've got two weak colonies. I got one strong colony. This colony was moved a week ago to this new location and the bees are not happy. They don't like to be, they just don't like having me around. Um, these colonies are okay, they're chilled out, but they're weak and I don't know, they were moved two weeks ago and I don't know if the queens are even viable, if they're laying or what's going on. So the plan is to check out these colonies, see if the queen is alive. If she's, if she's alive, then great, I'll leave them alone. <clears throat> if this colony, if the queen is dead in this one, and the queen is alive in that one, I'll just combine the two and that'll be the end of it. But if the, both of them have viable queens, the plan will be to take a deep super, or a deep, these big boxes, one of these big boxes, stick, give each one of them a deep, and steal some brood from this big colony over here, to give these weak colonies a boost. Steal from the rich to give to the poor. It works. Uh, that's the tentative plan. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, and these, are, this is not a hive, it's just a bunch of uh, empty deeps and honey supers uh, full of honey and drawn comb from the five colonies that I lost over the winter to shrew predation. I had pygmy shrews in my hives. Maybe in a month or so I'll have some some nukes and some mated queens that I've ordered. They may or may not arrive, you never know. Uh, so right now I'm making the best of the situation. I'm just trying to, I'm not gonna get any honey from these colonies this year, I know that. So I'm just basically trying to keep them alive, get them through until next winter and hope for the best. I'm cracking open this hive and I'm gonna see if the she has, there's a viable queen inside. All right, these bees are looking a lot better than I thought. There's more bees in here. I thought there was only a couple frames, but look, they're filling almost a full super, so, or a full deep. So I think they're ready for another deep. Now here's a frame of moldy pollen that I put in this hive for one of my dead hives. And the bees are cleaning it up, no problem. Lots of pollen in there. Nothing goes to waste. Okay, now I got a bee. A very defensive bee on the camera right now, but I'll try to crop in on the queen later on. <laughs> but the queen is totally chilled out. These bees are totally chilled. She's doing, oh, there you go. She just stuck her, she just laid an egg. She's laying an egg right now. Look at that. And she did it, done. Now she's gonna do that about another thousand more times today. Look at that, see, now she just laid an egg. Jeez, I hope you can see this. The, the bees are surrounded, there she is. She's moving on to the next hole. Lovely. Now the nurse bees are checking her out, making sure she's cool. They're already checking out the, the egg that she just laid. And she's gonna lay another one. Hold on, there she goes. Oh no, hold on. There she is, hold on. I'm not gonna leave her out much longer. I don't wanna, she might, I don't wanna get her spooked, but she seems totally oblivious to this human who's pulled her out of their hive. Like this is why um, Apis mellifera the uh, European honeybee is such a great, is such a great bee because none of these bees are trying to bot me in the face or sting me, but I'll probably get stung right now just as I'm saying it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give them another deep and uh, that's it. I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm just gonna give them another deep. I don't think I'm gonna add any, any brood from another hive or anything like that. I'm just gonna give the queen more room to lay. Okay. So that queen that we just looked at, she's on this frame right here, and on the edge of this frame is another frame, and this frame though is mostly full of pollen, not a lot of room for the queen to lay actually. So I'm going to put in a frame of drawn comb, and this is what drawn comb looks like. Drawn comb is comb that the, uh, or frame, that the bees have already built comb over. So this, this is basically ready to go. They don't have to do any work. They'll clean it up a little bit. But this is a nice clean frame of drawn comb. Nothing in it. Uh, the bees can fill it up with pollen or the queen can lay eggs in it. Or they can make honey in it, whatever they want to do. But basically I'm putting it in the, the hive right now, right here, beside the queen. Whoops. Right there. She's on that frame. And now if she wants to mosey on over to this frame, she'll say, hey, look at that, all that real estate. All these empty, uh, all this empty space, these empty cells, perfect for laying. So that, that's what I'm going to do. Give her a little extra room to lay. 
and I'm going to put an extra deep on top of this hive. And I probably will steal from that hive and put it into this hive, but right now I, 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 they're doing so well, they're recovering so well from the trauma of their uh, shrew predation um, that I don't want to mess with a good thing. You know, that's this is. I think this is a this is the the trick with beekeeping. It's no no when to just leave them alone, and I think they'll be fine for at least for another week. So I'm going to give them at least another week, and that'll give these these bees over here who are not in a good mood, give them a week to sort themselves out because they had a really traumatic move last week. And once they're settled in and playing as cool as these bees are playing, then I think I'll steal from them and boost up this colony.